say, in a strategic move following the intense conflict in the eastern Mediterranean, the United States has deployed its latest and most advanced aircraft carrier that harbors a formidable fleet of next-generation aircraft to the region. Among these next-generation aircraft lies a mysterious jet, boasting capabilities unseen before, shrouded in secrecy and anticipation. What groundbreaking capabilities would this mysterious jet bring? Does it have the potential to reshape the dynamics of conflicts in the eastern Mediterranean? Join us as we explore the mysterious jet aircraft on a U.S. Navy carrier in the Mediterranean Sea. On board the USS Gerald R. Ford, the mystery aircraft, known as the Boeing X-47, features a wingspan of 62 feet and is specifically designed for operations on aircraft carriers. Originating from the Joint Unmanned Combat Air Systems Program, the X-47 project played a key role in DARPA's JUCAS initiative before seamlessly integrating into the United States Navy's Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstration Program. Crafted by the expertise of Northrop Grumman, the X-47B boasts a tailless, jet-powered, blended-wing body design, providing it with semi-autonomous capabilities and the ability to engage in aerial refueling. The genesis of the X-47 can be traced back to the JUCAS program, initiated in the pursuit of unmanned combat air systems. It was in the year 2000 that the U.S. Navy fully committed to practical UCAS endeavors. Contracts amounting to $2 million each were awarded to Boeing and Northrop Grumman for a 15-month concept exploration program. The intricacies of naval UCAV design encompass challenges such as addressing the corrosive saltwater environment, optimizing deck handling for launch and recovery, integrating command and control systems, and navigating the high electromagnetic interference environment of an aircraft carrier. The Navy's interest in UCAVs was multifaceted, aiming for surveillance applications, protected airspace penetration, and target identification for subsequent attacks. The X-47A Pegasus, Northrop Grumman's proof-of-concept predecessor to the X-47B, took flight in 2003, laying the foundation for the subsequent development. The journey of the X-47 encountered a twist when the JUCAS program faced termination in February 2006 following the Quadrennial Defense Review. Undeterred, the U.S. Air Force and Navy pursued their distinct UAV programs. The Air Force directed its focus towards a new next-generation bomber, while the Navy, unwavering in its commitment to a fighter drone, resurrected the JUCAS program and introduced a new solo initiative called UCAS-D. Within this program, the X-47 found its definitive shape. The Navy's selection of the X-47B for the Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstrator Program marked a watershed moment in military aviation. This demonstrator, meticulously crafted to replicate the anticipated operational craft, was a pivotal testing ground for the X-47B's capabilities. A consortium of industry giants, including Lockheed Martin, Pratt Nemp Whitney, GKN Aerospace, Eaton, General Electric, UTC Aerospace Systems, Dell, Honeywell, Moog, Wind River, Parker Aerospace, Sargent Aerospace and M Defense, and Rockwell Collins, collaborated relentlessly to bring the prototype to life. The grand unveiling unfolded at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, on December 16, 2008, creating anticipation in the aerospace community. The initial plan aimed for the X-47B's maiden flight in November 2009. However, the project encountered delays, prompting Northrop Grumman to oversee towed taxi tests on December 29, 2009 at the Palmdale facility. The aircraft achieved a significant milestone by taxiing under its power in January 2010, setting the stage for further advancements in unmanned combat aviation. The X-47B is capable of semi-autonomous operation and aerial refueling. As a naval drone, it faced unique challenges associated with the corrosive saltwater environment. 
intricate deck handling for launch and recovery, seamless command and control system integration, and operation within an aircraft carrier's high electromagnetic interference environment. The financial investment in the project reflected the magnitude of its strategic importance. Initiated under a $635.8 million contract awarded by the Navy in 2007, the X-40 C-7B's total program cost escalated to an estimated $813 million by January 2012. Initially scheduled to conclude in September 2013, the UKSD program received a lifeline in June 2014, when the Navy allocated an additional $63 million for post-demonstration development of the X-47B. The Navy's commitment to substantial funding was not arbitrary. It stemmed from the understanding that the X-47B held the potential to be a game-changer in sea-based battles. Positioned as an unmanned combat air system, it could penetrate protected airspace and identify targets for follow-on attacks, either from a more heavily armed aircraft or independently. The dimensions of the X-47B underscored its technological prowess and versatility. Spanning 38 feet 2 inches in length, the X-47B is semi-autonomous, showcasing aerial systems' evolution toward increased automation. With no human crew aboard, the aircraft relied on advanced systems and artificial intelligence to navigate the skies, reducing risk and operational complexity. Beyond its sleek and aerodynamic exterior, the X-47B's design was crucial in achieving optimal performance. The wingspan, when extended, provided enhanced stability and control during flight, while the folded configuration at 30.9 feet facilitated storage and transportation, a crucial feature for military applications where agility and adaptability are paramount. At a height of 10 feet 5 inches, the X-47B design contributed to its aesthetic appeal and played a crucial role in achieving optimal performance. The wing area, spanning 953.6 square feet, ensured efficient lift and maneuverability, essential for various missions. Weighing 28,137 pounds in its zero-fuel configuration, the X-47B demonstrated lightweight design principles without compromising durability and strength. Its Pratt & Whitney F100 220U turbofan power plant was the beating heart, propelling it through the skies with unmatched speed and efficiency. Fully loaded for a mission, the X-47B could take off with a maximum weight of 44,501 pounds, showcasing substantial payload capacity. The two weapon bays on board could accommodate up to 4,500 pounds of weaponry, underlining its role as a potent and versatile asset in military operations. In terms of performance, the aircraft boasted a remarkable range of 2,400 miles ensuring it could cover vast distances without requiring frequent refueling. Operating at a service ceiling of 42,000 feet, it could navigate through different layers of the atmosphere, adapting to the requirements of diverse missions. Cruising through the high subsonic realms at speeds surpassing Mach 0.9, the X-47B seamlessly amalgamates agility with rapid deployment capabilities. This unmanned aerial marvel is not just an embodiment of cutting-edge aviation technology. It transforms into a formidable intelligence-gathering platform, boasting state-of-the-art avionics that elevate its situational awareness. With provisions for electro-optical, infrared, synthetic aperture radar, inverse synthetic aperture radar, ground-moving target indicator, maritime moving target indicator, and electronic support measures, the X-47B stands as a testament to the convergence of advanced systems in the pursuit of unparalleled functionality. The remarkable journey of the X-47B began with the inaugural flight of the demonstrator, named Air Vehicle 1, at Edwards Air Force Base, California, on February 4, 2011. It subsequently ventured into cruise configuration flight, on September 30, 2011, with retracted landing gear. Following suit, the second X-47B demonstrator, AV-2, 
had its maiden flight at Edwards Air Force Base on November 22, 2011. Initially designed for a three-year test program with 50 tests at Edwards AFB and Naspa Tucson River, Maryland, the X-47Bs displayed such consistent performance that the Navy recalibrated its strategy after just 16 flights. The focus shifted toward demonstrating carrier launches and recoveries and autonomous in-flight refueling using a probe and drogue. Notably, the Navy announced in November 2011 that the X-47B would undergo testing for aerial refueling equipment and software in 2014, emphasizing that the demonstrators would not be armed. The narrative unfolded to May 2012, witnessing high-intensity electromagnetic interference testing for AV-1 at Patuxent River. In June 2012, AV-2 arrived at Patuxent River, undergoing tests, including arrested landings and catapult launches, affirming its capability for precision approaches to an aircraft carrier. The first land-based catapult launch occurred on November 29, 2012. The X-47B embarked on its carrier-based evaluation aboard the USS Harry S. Truman on November 26, 2012. By December 18, 2012, it completed its first at-sea test phase, showcasing outstanding performance in synchronization with the carrier's flight deck, hangar bays, and communication systems. The epical moment arrived on May 4, 2013, when the X-47B executed a successful arrested landing on a simulated carrier deck at Patuxent River. Subsequently, on May 14, 2013, it achieved another historic milestone by being catapulted off the USS George H.W. Bush in the Atlantic Ocean, marking the first UAV launch from an aircraft carrier. On May 17, 2013, the X-47B performed touch-and-go landings and takeoffs from the George H.W. Bush moving deck. July 10, 2013, witnessed another milestone as the X-47B executed the first-ever arrested landing of a UAV on a carrier at sea, landing on the deck of George H.W. Bush. The subsequent testing phase included a second successful arrest landing on George H.W. Bush, highlighting the X-47B's reliability and autonomous operational capabilities. On September 18, 2013, the X-47B completed its 100th flight for the Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstrator Program. By July, the program's objectives were fulfilled, encompassing 16 precision approaches to the carrier flight deck. Testing continued aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt on November 10, 2013, evaluating the X-47B's digitized carrier-controlled environment. April 10, 2014, marked a significant occurrence as the X-47B undertook its first night flight. On August 17, 2014, another milestone was achieved when the X-47B operated alongside an F-A-18 Hornet on the Theodore Roosevelt, marking the first instance of a UAV operating with manned aircraft aboard an aircraft carrier. The X-47B's testing pinnacle occurred on August 24, 2014, completing catapult launches, arrestments, touch-and-go landings, and nighttime operations, meeting objectives and solidifying its place in aviation history. In April 2015, the X-47B accomplished a groundbreaking milestone by autonomously conducting the world's first aerial refueling with an Omega Air KC-707 tanker over Maryland's coast. This achievement completed all primary demonstration tasks set for the X-47B, adding to the advanced aircraft lineup on the USS Gerald R. Ford, the F-35 Lightning II shares the stage with the X-47B. The F-35 is a family of single-engine, supersonic, stealth multi-role fighters. It is the second fifth-generation fighter in U.S. service and the first operational supersonic STOVL stealth fighter. Highlighting low observables, advanced avionics, and sensor fusion, the F-35 achieves high situational awareness and long-range lethality. Thanks to its advanced sensors and mission systems, 
the USAF designates it as its primary strike fighter to suppress enemy air defense missions. The F-35 features a wing-tail configuration with two canteed vertical stabilizers for stealth. Flight control surfaces include leading-edge flaps, flaperons, rudders, and stabilators. The relatively short wingspan of the F-35A and F-35B is designed to fit within USN amphibious assault ship parking areas, while the F-35C's larger wing improves fuel efficiency. The fixed diverter's supersonic inlets contribute to the aircraft's aerodynamics, shedding the boundary layer away from the inlets. Structurally, the F-35 incorporates lessons from the F-22, with composites comprising 35% of the airframe weight. While the F-35 may not match the top speed of larger twin-engine fighters like the F-22, it remains competitive with fourth-generation counterparts such as the F-16 and F-A-18, especially when carrying weapons internally. All F-35 variants can achieve a top speed of Mach 1.6 with a full internal payload. The powerful F-135 engine allows for effective subsonic acceleration and energy, enabling a supersonic dash in afterburner. The aircraft's design, characterized by large stabilators, leading edge extensions, and canted rudders, contributes to excellent high alpha characteristics. With over double the internal fuel capacity of the F-16, the F-35 boasts a significantly greater combat radius and its stealth capabilities enhance mission efficiency. The complexity of the F-35 extends to its mission systems. The avionics and sensor fusion are designed to enhance pilot situational awareness command and control capabilities and support network-centric warfare. Key sensors include the Northrop Grumman and APG-81, AESA radar, BAE systems, and ASQ-239, Barracuda electronic warfare system, Northrop Grumman Raytheon, and AAQ-37 electro-optical distributed aperture system, Lockheed Martin and AAQ-40 electro-optical targeting system, and Northrop Grumman and ASQ-242 communications, navigation, and identification suite. The F-35 software, developed primarily in C and C++ programming languages, incorporates 8083 code from the F-22. With 8.6 million lines of code in the Block 3F software, the Green Hills Software Integrity DU 178B real-time operating system runs on integrated core processors. The avionics utilize commercial off-the-shelf components for flexibility and affordability. Although the mission system software, particularly for sensor fusion, posed significant challenges and led to program delays. The ANAPG-81 AESA radar, with electronic scanning for rapid beam agility, offers various modes, including air-to-air -air and strike modes and synthetic aperture radar capability. The AAQ-37 DAS provides missile launch warning and target tracking acting as a situational awareness, infrared search and track. The ASQ-239 Barracuda, an electronic warfare system, offers radar warning receiver and jamming capabilities against hostile radars. The AAQ-40 EOTS, mounted internally, performs laser targeting, forward-looking infrared, and long-range IRST functions. The ASQ-242 CNI suite employs multiple physical links, incorporating the multifunction advanced data link for covert operations. This suite, along with sensor fusion that amalgamates data from radio frequency receivers and infrared sensors, provides a unified tactical picture for the pilot. The F-35 was purposefully designed with the capability for future enhancements, exemplified by initiatives like Technology Refresh 3 and the advanced EOTs for the Block 4 configuration, showcasing Lockheed Martin's dedication to improving the aircraft's capabilities throughout its operational life. Stealth is a fundamental element of the F-35's design, with radar cross-section minimized through meticulous shaping of the airframe and the utilization of radar-absorbent materials. Visible measures to reduce RCS include edge alignment, skin panel serration, and engine face and turbine masking. 
The diverter supersonic inlet employs a compression bump and forward-swept cowl, further eliminating the diverter cavity and reducing the radar signature. The F-35's RCS is lower than a metal golf ball at specific frequencies and angles, with favorable comparisons to the F-22 in certain conditions. The aircraft's stealth design prioritizes high-frequency X-band wavelengths, using techniques such as mounting Lundberg lens reflectors to disguise its RCS. Concerns about noise from the F-35 arose in residential areas near potential bases, leading to environmental impact studies. Despite comparable decibel levels to prior fighters like the F-16, the F-35's sound power, particularly at lower frequencies, raised concerns. Subsequent surveys and studies indicated that the F-35's noise was not significantly different from the F-16 and F-A-18EF, although greater low-frequency noise was noticeable to some observers. The F-35's state-of-the-art glass cockpit, meticulously designed to ensure optimal situational awareness, has a spacious 20 by 8 inch panoramic touchscreen. This advanced interface seamlessly displays critical information, including flight instruments, store management, CNI data, and integrated caution and warnings. An innovative speech recognition system developed by Aditel enhances communication and control within the cockpit. Diverging from the conventional, the F-35 adopts the helmet-mounted display system to project flight and combat information directly onto the pilot's helmet visor. This revolutionary approach allows for dynamic information access, irrespective of the pilot's facing direction. The Vision System's International Helmet Display, a crucial component of the human-machine interface, ensures that the pilot can access essential flight information in various operational scenarios. Integrating the infrared and night vision imagery from the distributed aperture system directly onto the HMDS further enhances the pilot's situational awareness, providing a comprehensive view. The introduction of the Gen 3 helmet in 2016 brought about significant advancements, including improved night vision capabilities, new liquid crystal displays, automated alignment, and software enhancements, showcasing Lockheed Martin's commitment to continually enhance the capabilities of the F-35 throughout its operational life. Transitioning to armament capabilities, the F-35, designed to maintain stealth, features two internal weapons bays with four stations. These stations accommodate various ordnance, including air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-surface weapons, such as JDAM, Paveway Series Bombs, JSOW, and Cluster Munitions. The external weapons stations, designed for missions not requiring stealth, offer additional flexibility, with configurations allowing for a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface munitions. Lockheed Martin's ongoing developments, such as the Sidekick Weapon Rack and Block 4 enhancements, reflect a commitment to improving the F-35's capabilities. These innovations include increased internal air-to-air -air payload, expanded capabilities for the F-35B, integration of new munitions, and plans for nuclear weapons delivery. Future considerations encompass hypersonic missiles, direct energy weapons like solid-state lasers, and a fiber laser system exploration. The USAF intends for the F-35A to take on the close air support mission in contested environments, addressing concerns regarding its suitability compared to dedicated attack platforms. By underlining the significance of arming the F-35 for cast sorties, the USAF plans to integrate guided rockets, fragmentation rockets, and more compact ammunition for higher capacity gun pods. This strategic approach aims to enhance the F-35's versatility across various operational roles. Regarding the engine, the F-35 relies on the Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan. This single-engine aircraft boasts a rated thrust of 125 kilonewton at military power and 191 kilonewton with afterburner. 
Derived from the Pratt and Whitney F-119 used in the F-22, the F-135 incorporates a larger fan and a higher bypass ratio to increase subsonic thrust and fuel efficiency. Unlike the F-119, the F-135 is not optimized for supercruise. The engine contributes to the F-35 stealth with a low observable augmenter featuring fuel injectors in thick curved veins covered by ceramic radar absorbent materials. Early in its development, the stealthy augmenter faced challenges with pressure pulsations or screech at low altitudes and high speed. The F-35's engine includes a low observable axisymmetric nozzle with 15 partially overlapping flaps, creating a sawtooth pattern at the trailing edge. This design reduces radar signature and generates shed vortices to decrease the infrared signature of the exhaust plume. Due to the engine's substantial dimensions, the U.S. Navy had to modify its underway replenishment system to facilitate at-sea logistics support. The integrated power package of the F-35 performs power and thermal management, integrating various functions such as environment control, auxiliary power unit, engine starting, and more into a unified system. In conjunction with the advanced capabilities of the X-47B and F-35 Lightning II on board the USS Gerald Ford, the carrier stands well equipped to efficiently maneuver, launch, and respond to any potential challenges or conflicts, particularly in the volatile Middle East region. The synergistic integration of these cutting-edge aircraft enhances the carrier's strategic capabilities offering a potent force projection platform capable of addressing a wide spectrum of threats. Thank you for watching. While you are still here, click the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.